What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TD. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment, man. You already know I appreciate your support. Shout out to all my new subscribers out there. I really appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Hopefully, you enjoy the content. Look, you guys see the title of today's video, man. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my onboarding experience with Gordon Food Service. I'm going to be talking about how long it took me to get a phone call back from Gordon Food Service from the time I applied with the company. I'm going to be talking about the interview process I went through. And in addition to that, I'm going to be telling you guys about the training process, how long was the training process, and what I did during training, etc. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely keep it locked to this video. I'm getting ready to spill the beans, man, and tell you guys exactly what I went through, all right? So look, you guys keep it locked. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so if you guys been following the channel, man, you already know I was doing beverage prior to coming to Gordon Food Service. I worked for a beer delivery company. I was working 60 plus hours a week. It was the hardest job I ever did in my life. That's just me. I know you guys probably been doing it forever, some of you, but it was the toughest job I ever did, man. I was underpaid, overworked, and I had to find something else. My goal was to get into food service after I obtained my CDL, but I wasn't able to get into food service initially, and I ended up going to beverage. Um, the beer company called me, got the job, etc. Food service was definitely something I wanted to get into. One night, I was online on Indeed, and I came across Gordon Food Service. Now, we don't have a Gordon Food Service where I live, but it's one about 50 minutes away. Um, that I wasn't aware of at the time, but I seen it. CDL, class A driver position available. Boom, I applied for it. And believe it or not, guys, it took GFS one to two days to call me back after I applied. So it was, it was pretty quick. They called me back pretty quick. Now, your experience, it may be a little bit different, right? Um, the timeline may vary from person to person but I'm just letting you guys know what my experience was. The recruiter called me, uh, ended up setting me up on an interview, a phone interview. The interview went well. After that, she set up another interview with the transportation manager. That was the following week, uh, like a Zoom call type of interview I had with the transportation manager. That interview went well, and Mike called me. The following week, um, he told me he had some other applicants to go through. I don't know if that was true or not. I think he already knew I was the person for the job. <laughs> Shout out to Mike, man. But he ended up calling me back the following week, gave me the call and was like, hey, you hired, basically. You know what I mean? Obviously, I put in my two-week notice with the beer company. Um, and after that, I immediately started with Gordon Food Service. So I had the phone interview. And the following week, I had a live Skype interview. It was like a Zoom call type of interview uh, with the transportation manager. So once I was hired, got the job and actually started, I ended up going to another location to do my training. Now training is typically three weeks with GFS. All right? I spent my first two weeks at another location in Alabama. GFS paid for my rental car. They paid for my hotel and they paid for my meals during that time while I was up there. All right. So the first week, first few days into it, was we did a lot of paperwork and watching videos. Um, that's what I did like the first couple days. And then uh, towards the end of the week, I actually started going on some routes. So while I was on the routes, I rode with a couple different people. I learned about the handheld device. Uh, I learned pretty much kind of how to stack the dolly. I learned where the cooler dry freezer area was that once you start going to these restaurants, you see that a lot of the setups in terms of the freezer cooling dry areas are very similar. Um, so you start seeing these type of things. Now you do have some of the odd places, maybe your mom and pop places um, that are a little bit different. I rode with a couple different people uh, my first week, a couple different people the second week, but I end up staying with one person in particular, a little bit longer than everybody else, and that was my guy, Miles. Shout out to Miles if you watch this video. He, he taught me a lot. Um, and I went on my first chain account, two day route with Miles. It was pretty cool. It was, it was a long drive, it was a lot of driving, I will say that. Um, 
and we had a loaded 50 foot trailer too <laughs> so it was, a, it was a lot of work that day uh, but we got it done my training experience with gfs was great um, the people i rode with the people who trained me were great uh, you know like i said training was three weeks i spent two weeks out of town and then i spent my last week at the location where i'm currently at maybe a month after training i was fortunate enough to get my own route um, which is the route that I'm currently on. It's been changed up a bit because we've picked up new business over time. Um, but, you know, I'm still on my chain account route. I'm loving it. It's actually going to be changing up again uh, towards the end of this year. We're picking up some more business um, that I found out yesterday. So my route is going to be changing up again. Um, but it's still going to be two-day route. So I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. That was my experience with onboarding and also with training if you get with a trainer and you feel like you're not being trained properly and they're not showing you the things you need to be shown they're not teaching you the things you need to be taught you need to go to your manager and get yourself another trainer it's important that you get with a trainer that's not only going to show you what you need to know but it's going to have patience and don't mind you asking questions so make sure when you're in training that you get with somebody that's actually showing you the job and showing you what you're supposed to be learning and not just using you for a helper, all right? All right, guys, that about wraps it up for me. That was my onboarding process with Gordon Food Service. And also, that was the training that I went through. Again, if you work for GFS or any company for that matter, your experience may be a little different. This was my experience. Let me know in the comments what your experience was in training. If it was similar, if it was different, let me know in the comments, man. All right? Look, guys, that's all I got for you today. Do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video, drop a comment if you got a comment. Until next time, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.